Hey there YouTube, just wanted to uh, bring you a video, a quick overview of a new product from Uniqlo. This is uh, the Heat Tech Ultra Warm. This is the third installment of the Ultra, uh, in the Ultra Warm series. They had the original one for a couple of years now. Last year they brought out the Extra Warm, which is 1.5 times warmer. You can check out one of my earlier videos for that. This is the Ultra Warm, which is claimed to be three times warmer than the original. Uh, available for men and women only right now. They don't have that for kids yet. And I think it's going to be great if they had that because that's really where it counts. Uh, as you can see, I have the men's medium. And uh, this is my wife's. And she doesn't really want the top. And matter of fact, I'm not too crazy about the, uh, the top here as well, but depends on your uh, preferences. So I got the men's medium top. The large is a little long. Uh, I find that the fabric is stretchy enough. It's a little heavy for those of you ultralight or lightweight backpackers, but it's definitely a good alternative because of the cost. It's $19.90, which is just the same price as the extra warms. Um, that's only their introductory rate. They may bring uh, raise the price a little later. Uh, so really warm. Uh, I've tried them on. I haven't really used them outside yet, but it seems to be really warm. The claim is that it is three times warmer than the original. And um, I'm going to cut away in a bit and I'm going to show the product. But 13 ounces for the men's medium comes in these really nice boxes. If you're uh, doing some last minute shopping, I apologize. I should have had this video out um, earlier, but I've been very busy. So uh, the men's medium top, again, I prefer the medium because of the cut. It's 13 ounces for the top and about 10 ounces for the bottoms. And I find that because of their LS, you know, being stretchy, the mediums work well, even though I have a two, you know, I'm 200 pounds and I usually wear a large shirt or large jacket uh, with everything else. Uh, sometimes even extra large. So I've got a pretty uh, short stocky build and the mediums work really well for me because the large is cut a little too long. It goes all the way down you know way below my hip and uh, not a big fan of that. It's a lot of excess material. That was the case with their extra warm series and pretty much similar to the ultra warm series as well. The large is just a little too loose I find that with base layers, it's good to have it nice and snug to your body. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut to uh, the product itself. So here we have the top, and it's a different texture from what you're used to with the uh, Heat Tech series. This is more of a textured feel. Um, as per the website, take a look at the detail on how they did this, but it's supposed to be a three layer weave. Um, meaning you know you've got different levels to how it's woven and that adds um, air pockets according to their explanation. It's got that same brushed feel on the inside sort of like a fleece uh, similar to the um, extra warm series. Again that's 13 ounces. Feels really heavy, feels kind of like a more like a regular uh, cotton top than a you know, like one of those woven tops than a base layer. I really do love the feel and the fit of the bottoms. Nice and snug, really warm, and uh, same great elastic that they use in all the other um, lower, I mean, lower weight products. So there's really not much to say uh, at this point. This Again, this is more of an overview. I haven't really had much use of these. I've tried them on. They fit really well. I have no doubt that they'll be warmer. Uh, I think they're a great alternative to the, uh, the um, what do you call that, to other base layers like Capoline and Under Armour uh, just because of the cost. And Uniqlo has always been a great alternative to that. Um, and I think that uh, the uh, backpacking or outdoor gear uh, people should really start including them in their reviews. I know they're included in the forums. Um, they're great for every day of use, of course. Uh, I'm not sure about the drying times, but for the casual backpacker, 
these are great alternatives. Uh, matter of fact, they weigh they don't weigh much more than the Nike Hyperwarms. So uh, definitely a great alternative and should be just as warm. I'll be doing a long-term review of the product um, you know, later on uh, after the winter. Uh, so I'm going to have some better data, better information, probably a better video with me actually having the product on. Um, the women's have a different um, patterning. It's not very really obvious here. I don't want to take it out of the box at this point. Um, it's got a ribbed um, texture to it, so it's like a rib running down. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a great alternative. Uh, I'm going to bring in a couple of other items here just uh, quickly. I've shown these in one of my uh, bug out bag videos um, for the car. These are the Kirkland Merino wool socks from Costco. Uh, I'm not sure if they're available on, online. I haven't seen them on the online website, but definitely if you have a Costco membership, you can check out in the stores. As you can see, they're 70% merino wool, 29% nylon, 1% elastane, and this is made in the USA with Australian merino wool, as the label says, which is really fascinating. This pack of four is $11.99, and since it's a clothing article here in New York City, there is no tax on that. So it comes out to about $3 uh, per sock, per pair. And when you compare that to the leading uh, brands such as Smart Wool, Icebreaker, when you look at 70% wool products, you will usually start paying about $16 to $22 per pair. So I've been using these and uh, I, I really feel that they're very comparable, especially for everyday use. Uh, since I have the other uh, brands, when I go outdoors, I'll definitely be using those since I've um, since I've paid you know a premium for those socks uh, the one thing that this doesn't have over Patagonia would be probably just the arch support but uh, it's it, it's pretty good actually um, and again I'm gonna cut away and show you uh, one of the socks and just show you how the, it has the little arch support as well so here we are with the Kirkland Outdoor Trail Socks, uh, comes in packs of four. Um, and I weighed these on my scale, they are around three ounces for a pair. As you can see, there is some elastic where, to support your arch. They're very comfortable, uh, not itchy at all, and uh, very warm, uh, as warm as the Smart Wool Socks. So, for everyday use, they're great. They're even great for backcountry as a budget alternative. Um, I, I think they would perform just as well. Um, I've been wearing these all day. I work outdoors uh, for the most part. And um, this, these have done really well and the odor control is just great. Uh, it comes just in two colors, the blue and the black. And I've been using these for uh, about, I guess, let's say four to six weeks now since the weather has gotten colder. Uh, and, I, and I love them. Uh, they, they perform just as well as, you know, the leading brand socks. Again, these are $3 a pair versus Smart Wool, which is about $22 uh, retail. Uh, I usually pick up my Smart Wool socks at Marshalls, so I pay about $9.99 for them when they have them. Um, so anyway, just wanted to bring you these for those who uh, are doing some last minute shopping. These come in great. I like to just kind of pick some of these up, hats, gloves, and you know, you, you have a, a set of um, products, you know, uh, stocking stuffers for, uh, you know, people that you probably forgot on your list. I always like to keep some uh, basic items like wool socks, gloves, hats, around and uh, just put them all in a bag and if you got an extra guest for Christmas uh, you forgot that uh, you had that one other cousin coming to town and yeah these make great gifts uh, so um, thank you very much for watching happy holidays to you all uh, I'll see if I can have a couple other videos and uh, 
definitely do some, uh, I got some footage that I have to edit uh, regarding long-term reviews for the Patagonia M10 and the uh, Alpha FL. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy holidays to all. God bless. Thank you.